Welcome to another example of break-even analysis for facility location planning. A company planning to manufacture webcams has to decide on the location of the production facility. Three locations are being considered Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai. The fixed costs at the three locations are estimated to be rupees 30 lakhs, rupees 50 lakhs, and rupees 25 lakhs per annum, respectively. The variable costs are rupees 300, rupees 200, and rupees 350 per unit. Find out the following A. The range of annual sales or production volume for which each location is the most suitable and b which one of the three is the best location at a production or sales volume of 17,000 units so here again a company is looking to set up a production facility and have three options Hyderabad, Bangalore and Chennai the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit has been given to us but they have not yet decided how much will be the production volume. So we have to find out the range of production volume for which each location is the most suitable. And once we find out the ranges, then we can find out the answer to question B, which is which is the best location for 17,000 units. So this is the information that has been provided to us. Now let us first find out the total cost. But we have not been given the production volume. So let us assume that the volume of production is X units per annum. So now the total costs become at Hyderabad thirty lakhs plus three hundred multiplied by X at Bangalore fifty lakhs plus 200 multiplied by x and at Chennai 25 lakhs plus 350 multiplied by x. Now first we have to find out the range of annual sales volume for which each location is the most suitable. So let us draw a graph between total cost and production volume in order to find out the range of volume for which each location is the most suitable. Now in order to plot the graph we need at least two points for each of these locations through which these will pass. So let us take volume at 5000 units and at 20,000 units and find out the values for each of these locations for the total cost. So for Hyderabad The total cost at 5000 units will be 30 lakhs plus 300 multiplied by 5000. This is equal to 45 lakhs. And at 20,000 units, it will be 30 lakhs plus. 
300 multiplied by 20,000 and this will be equal to 90 lakhs. Again, this is all in rupees. Next location is Bangalore. For Bangalore at 5000 units, 50 lakhs plus 200 multiplied by 5000. This is equal to 60 lakhs rupees. And at 20,000 units, 50 lakhs plus 200 multiplied by 20,000. And this is equal to 90 lakhs. Now third one, Chennai. Twenty five lakhs plus three fifty multiplied by five thousand. This is equal to four two five zero 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 rupees. And at twenty thousand units, twenty five lakhs plus 350 multiplied by 20,000 and this is equal to 95 lakhs rupees. So we now have two points for each of the locations which can be plotted on the total cost versus volume graph. So let us do that. So this is the graph between total cost and volume. Now let's plot the first location which is Hyderabad. Now for Hyderabad at 5000 units the total cost is 45 lakh rupees. Now here on the y-axis I am plotting total cost and this is in in lakh rupees per annum. So this is 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs and so on. So at 5000 units for Hyderabad the total cost is 45 lakhs. So this will be somewhere here and at 20,000 units the total cost for Hyderabad is 90 lakhs. So this point will be here. So now let us draw the line for Hyderabad. This is Hyderabad. Now for Bangalore, at 5000 units, the total cost is 60 lakhs. So this will be here. And at 20,000 units, the total cost is 90 lakhs. So this is again the same point. So let us draw this line. So this line in blue is for Bangalore. Now for Chennai at 5000 units the total cost is 42.5 lakhs. So the point will be here and at 20,000 units the total cost is 95 lakhs. So this will be here. So let us draw the line So this red line is for Chennai. Now here till the point where this red line 
intersects with the black line the cost for the red line is the lowest amongst the three lines so let's say the intersection is somewhere here so till this point the red line has the lowest cost after that the black line has the lowest cost let's say till this point here and beyond that the blue line has the lowest cost and it will continue from here on like this so let's now find out what are these points so let's say this is coming till 10,000 so from 0 to 10,000 volume the red line which is Chennai is the lowest cost location so this is Chennai the next point is till 20,000 so between 10,000 and 20,000 the black line has the lowest cost which is Hyderabad so this is and beyond this point the blue line is the lowest so beyond this point this is the blue line which is Bangalore so for a production volume of 0 to 10,000 units Chennai is the lowest cost location from 10,000 to 20,000 units Hyderabad is the lowest cost location and beyond 20,000 units Bangalore is the lowest cost location now part B of the question was asking which is the lowest cost location for a volume of 17,000 units so from this it is clear that Hyderabad is the location with the lowest cost for producing a volume of 17,000 units per annum